could you please introduce yourself and chat with Financial, please? Yeah, so my name's Sophia. Um, I work at Chetwood Financial. We're a digital challenger bank that's all about creating distinct customer propositions for specific groups of customers, all with the aim of helping customers to become better off through technology. Um, one example of the ways that we've done that is with our Live Lend product. So uh, our Live Lend product is a personal loan uh, that offers guaranteed um, rates, 100% pre pre-approved offers. But as, your, um, as the customer's credit score improves, their rate automatically reduces to make sure that they're on the, the, the best rate that we can offer them. Um, we also offer, um, as well as personal loans, savings products. Um, and we'll shortly be launching um, a range of other products as well. Um, and in terms of what I do at Chetwood Financial, so my team looks after everything to do with commercial partnerships. So whether that's finding new ways to distribute our products um, and managing the relationships with people like ClearScore or Money Supermarket or Experian, other aggregators. Um, we've got an extensive uh, range of partners that we work with and, and look for growth opportunities. Um, but now also leading the work around banking as a service and finding uh, new partners uh, that we can work with. Thank you. That's brilliant. Um, so you have been in the banking sector for a number of years now. And uh, in your opinion, why is the backend as a service model crucial for, for legacy banks nowadays? And what are the benefits of a backend as a service model for banks and consumers? I think one of the main benefits of banking as a service solutions for legacy banks is the the route to market within within which we can um, we can achieve. So we can enter the market much more quickly because of our agile, scalable technology. We also have market leading ways of 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 creating new products. So all of our products are guaranteed rate, pre approved, with best in class conversion, online journeys that are very easy to use, and and those are capabilities that legacy banks you know haven't traditionally been able to to access quite so easily because of the technology that they use um but we're also gaining a lot of traction with fintechs so that we're obviously um there's a lot of alignment we're finding lots of fintechs that have very similar um ethos to us customer focus trying to find different ways of of, of doing things and there especially we're finding that they're looking for a banking as a service partner to kind of enrich their experiences provide them with a quicker route to market as well as people that have regulatory permissions so Chetwood Financial is a registered bank uh, and and so we have the required permissions to do that um, and 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 we can own the balance sheet so there's there's lots of traction that we're we're kind of uh, building in the in the fintech space but banking as a service isn't just a solution for financial services companies it's a solution for anyone that has a customer base where they're looking to provide access to finance or savings products alongside their current offering so for example we've been having conversations with uh, travel companies that want to um, offer finance alongside the holidays that they're offering uh, people that you know cars uh, um card providers, online retailers, sports organizations. There's a real host of opportunity. Uh, and really, it's anyone that, that wants to provide access to finance alongside their existing proposition, but don't want to do that themselves. We can absolutely help those customers. Thank you. And so you spoke about the opportunities in the market. And, and, and my next question is, what are the solutions that chat with financial uh, offers under its banking as a service model and how does the Chatwood Financial different from other banking as a service uh, providers? Yeah, good question. So our banking as a service solution spans a range of products, so loans and savings accounts at the moment, um, but will span the other products that we're looking to launch shortly. Um, we have a multi-product, multi-brand capability that already exists today. We run um, multiple personal loans products on our on our technology with those brands working side by side so it, it's a proven capability and our banking as a service solution covers everything from proposition development and we've actually had a lot of partners be interested in in working with us in that way so they're seeing the innov innovative different products that we're creating and they want to work with us to kind of create co-create those new propositions all the way through to building out the front end and onboarding journeys for, for their customers. We can make the credit decision and um, work. We 
we have the core banking platform working with your boater on on loans um, and then the ongoing management of, of those customers all the way through to kind of customer services and collections. But we've also got the regulatory permission and we can manage the, the balance sheet. We can hold the capital risk. And so really we can span the entire life cycle end to end. And, and so far we haven't found anybody else that's been doing that in the UK, certainly. Um, like I said, it spans a number of products. So not just personal loans, also savings and then the the, the um the new products that are, that are on, on their way. And with savings in particular, I think kind of our USPs are, are what's unique about us is how flexible we can be. So we could stand up new savings accounts and launch them in the market within a day. We could change the pricing very, very quickly, which means that provider, banking as a service partners would be able to really respond to the market very quickly uh, and, and obviously then manage their savings balances um, more effectively. Equally, we can just do very bespoke and component, we can take a very componentized approach. So if, if somebody just wanted an onboarding journey, we could create that. If somebody just wanted the credit decision, we could run that. If they wanted the core banking platform, we can break down our end-to-end -end life cycle into pieces and, and create very unique propositions um, and partnership approaches. We've got a very flexible approach. Thank you. That's brilliant. And so, so you have touched on the multi-brand, multi-partner angle of the platform. So my next question is related to that, which is, uh, please tell us about your partner's onboarding process, how that happens, and are there any special requirements uh, during this process for, 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 for partners? Yeah, so we've actually been working with a number of prospective partners, which I've touched on, that spans such a broad range and uh, of opportunity. And we find that really exciting. So there's a, there's a lot of scope with banking as a service. And I've mentioned some of the kind of um, opportunities that we've been working on. So fintechs with almost um, current account like propositions where they're looking to deepen the relationships that they have with their base. Other fintechs that are lev leveraging open banking data to bring the customer's account together and proactively nudge them to, to improve their financial wellness. I've talked about travel companies, sports bases, membership bases. There's such a huge range and we find that really exciting. So really the onboarding process depends on the requirements of that individual um, partner and we'll be very flexible about, about how we approach that. It also depends on the, the parts of the process the partner wants us to run as well as the, the parts that they want to own and run and how we kind of co-manage that together. Uh, so in short, really the approach depends on, on, on what we've agreed to do together within the partnership approach, but we can be very flexible, very agile. And I think that's one of the things that that's very different about us. Um, and we also have a, a, a quick route to market. Thank you. That's perfect. Um, so next question is, uh, are your banking solutions fully developed internally or customized from third party products? And from a broader market perspective, what challenges in the market does your technology look to, to overcome? Yeah, so like lots of newer digital banks, we've leveraged existing capability that, that's available in the market to allow us to get up and running and achieve our goals more quickly. And that's certainly what we've done. So I've mentioned before that we work with on personal loans, our core banking providers, Yubota. There are a number of other technology solution providers that we work with at the moment. But we've also been developing our own in-house capability, and we've been doing that so that we can be responsive and more agile in how we make changes. So, for example, we created and built our, our own credit decision engine last year that we own in-house, which means that we can then obviously make changes to respond to the market and better help customers and, and our, our partners. And our banking as a service partners will have access to both the relationships that we have with our third party service providers, as well as our internal technology capability. Um, I think the core challenge that our banking as a service um, solution overcomes for partners in the market is speed, speed to market, as well as having that agile technology, the flexible approach that we have, the fact that we've got the banking license and that we can own the capital risk. Uh, and, and balance sheet and that we can manage the end-to-end -end life cycle or specific parts but I'd say the the other thing that's particularly relevant at the moment is we're finding that lots of partners are looking for new revenue streams as a result of COVID they want to diversify their balance sheet 
And so banking as a service can definitely help to do that by offering financial products uh, alongside the services that people already offer and embedding banking as a service within the existing journeys and propositions that people already have. Um, so I would say that those are probably the, the main ways that banking as a service can kind of overcome market challenges at the moment. Thank you. And so you have touched on the uh, the, the partners and uh, the approaches you're taking. And, the, you know, the next question is in terms of uh, growing the platform. So what's your customer growth strategy? Um, we have ambitious growth plans and banking as a service is definitely at the core of those for Chetwood Financial. Um, we are close to securing a couple of new opportunities, which is very exciting for us. I can't share too much more about that at the moment, but maybe in the future I, we can get together and I can share a little bit more. Um, and we have scope to, to secure additional relationships later on in the year. So we're definitely looking for new partnerships. So if people are interested in, in understanding more about what we do, they should definitely get in touch about how we could work together. Thanks, Sophia, for your time. <laughs> Thanks, Beck. It's been really lovely to speak to you about our banking as a service opportunities and really keen to stay in touch and, and share more with you as we kind of develop and, and secure new partnerships.